Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. On the same stretch of the game, and we're returning to Let's Play of Democracy 4, playing for a communist Great Britain. There are certain hiccups that we are encountering over here, uh, but I think overall we've laid great foundations here over the first half or so uh, of our first term. And that is we've mostly tried to increase socialist membership, and I think we've been relatively successful. It's a very slow process, but all in all I'm kind of happy about that. I'm slightly worried about this uh, minister over here, our chancellor, I think. Yeah, um, she isn't doing great. She, her loyalty is, is kind of going low because her focus group, conservatives and religious people, don't really... are not the happiest in the world, let's say. So let's see whether we can do a little bit better over here and get a little bit more political capital because I'm slightly concerned about that. Other than that... We've made some great strides. We've in included the Labour Bank holiday. We've nationalised the telecom industry. We do need to do a little bit more. But for the most time, we've been trying to uh, tackle some of the nation's issues in, in a very genuine, genuine way over here. With the respiratory disease coming down very nicely. With obesity coming down lovingly. So that's great to see. Maybe we're going to get rid of organised crime. I don't know. It would certainly be very lovely. Now... I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. And that is our deficit here of £53 billion per quarter. That is pretty, pretty, pretty hefty, you could say. And that's about a third of our overall expenditures are financed by debt. And that is just not great because actually the most important item that we are spending currently is debt interest. And I want to certainly nationalise some more industries. And I'm very afraid that if that is going to collapse completely, we're going to be in a very bad spot. So I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to lay the foundations for a better economy over the very long term, at the very least over here. Let's try to get there. We will need to make some um, very gradual changes over here. But one of the first things that I probably want to do, and you know what, I think I'm going to start with that, is I'm going to increase science funding. Science funding does have a direct impact on GDP. It's just a very long-term one, over 20 turns over here. But I do think that ultimately this will be able to pay for itself. It's also going to increase technology, which is going to have some uh, beneficial effects. It's going to increase energy efficiency. All of that is going to be very helpful here. So we are going to increase the funding here pretty dramatically. And I think that should give us a very, very nice boost here to GDP in the very long run. That's eating nearly pretty much all of our political capital here, so I don't think we can do much more. Can we do something in terms of transport? No. Basically, I think we can't do anything. You know what? Let's keep the country tidy. That's one campaign that I want to start over here. It's not specifically communist, I know. But you know what? Just instilling a sense for your surroundings maybe isn't the worst. It's going to increase the environment um, a little bit at least. And that's going to help with these two things. Uh, without further ado, let's go to the next turn of AC here and see what is going to happen. Now, that's very interesting. That's very good, actually. So the richest company pays no tax. We found that out. Patriots hate that. Socialists do hate that. So that's not great. But look at that. Socialism. This drives people to become socialist. And that's very, very, very good. So I'm very happy about that change. That's a very, very nice change indeed. Crime is coming down very much, so that's good to see as well. Poverty still being incredibly low, unemployment still being incredibly high. But do I see a, a turnaround in the global economy? I do. Now, it's a little bit unfortunate that our relative economy isn't doing better still, but at the very least, we might be on a good trajectory here. Is it going to be enough to get rid of at least the respiratory diseases? It would be so lovely if we could do that. Just 6% that we're going to get from this. That's going to probably bring us down to over here. So we need at least 5 less. We might be able to get that from the environment. I think tobacco usage is going to project it to come down a little bit. Because we have introduced the tobacco awareness campaign here. But it's going to take a while. Yeah. Let's see. I think we need to. we simply need to improve the economy. Otherwise we will not be able to do that. Come on, just go away. If that goes away, I'm, I'm going to be very, very happy. Otherwise, we do need to introduce some more drastic measures. Speaking of, I think what we're going to do here is, under welfare, we're going to introduce, introduce childcare provisions. That's going to be smashingly expensive, but 
it's going to be hugely popular with parents um, with just it's not actually that that popular parents do like it that's nice to see and it's going to bring up socialism so that's lovely to see uh, we're going to also count as a little bit more compassionate population is going to increase that's nice unemployment is going to come down parents membership is going to increase i would hope that that ultimately uh, becomes also a thing for other people but let's see i do like the effect here on productivity so for the first time here we're really trying to improve productivity by a meaningful amount and that ultimately i do have very hope very high hopes for because productivity does have an have the um, potential to have a huge positive impact over here and it's gonna have a double impact because it's also to a large extent driving the uncompetitive economy that we are facing over here and that again has a big effect here on GDP so maybe maybe that is gonna work I do not know but I'm certainly hoping that that is gonna get us in the right direction right what else do we want to do I think we had some item over here foreign investor tax breaks you know what that is gonna be a negative effect for our business confidence which is pretty low anyway so that already depresses GDP that's not bad um, it's also going to bump down foreign relations and foreign investments foreign relations are relatively low anyway and they do in turn go for trade and tourism so that's not going to be great in that regard but I do want to get rid of this and it's costing us two billion so you know what we're going to cancel this policy and not going to give any more tax breaks to foreign investors that sounds like a horrible idea anyway so I think that's fine nuclear fission I think it would be lovely to increase that simply because it would um, increase our GDP a little bit and ultimately we do need to do that so yeah I think that's gonna be alright anything else that we want to do to tackle obesity then I don't think there's much else that we can do at this point no so I think that's fine I would like to ban second home ownership here but it is kind of expensive so I don't think we have the political power let's wait over here and see what else we can do now unemployment seems to be coming down very much over here largely due to childcare provision I think lovely GDP is recovering slightly that's nice but it would, really, it would be really great if we could get um, rid of some other things factory farming law we are gonna set tougher standards so capitalists hate that farmers hate it and GDP is going to come down that's not great but some other things are looking good security still looking relatively fine so that's good and obesity for the first time it's below the star trigger it does of course need to come below the stop trigger uh, to be really making any impact over here but it I'm pretty optimistic that that is gonna gonna fall on its own below that and it would be so lovely if we could get rid of the respiratory diseases before the election and same of course with organized crime we can't do much in terms of organized crime but we can do a little bit so let's try to actually save up to 38 political power over here I would like to do something more drastic so yeah only spend five I don't think there's that much that we can do for five political power but let's briefly look at that so all things over here pretty fine don't need to do anything about that free parenting classes are generally lovely Free eye tests are lovely, but that's a little bit too expensive. Public libraries are great. Tech colleges are great, but that's a little bit too expensive. You know what? Let's go for Youth Politics Council. I think as a proper communist party, we do need to have a youth organization, and that is going to be very intertwined with the state. It's also going to make uh, this minister a little bit more in our favor, which I think is very nice. So only three more political power to go. Tourism ad is generally noise and stuff, but honestly not that that crucial. I think we're wasting anything if we're not spending it this time. So, yeah, let's try to spend it somewhere where we do believe it does make some sense. Now, more income tax or more corporate taxes would, I think, be relatively, uh, a relatively good idea. Now, increasing that is a little bit too expensive, though, so I can't really do that for now could go for a little bit better state broadcaster if we were to go over here it's not really gonna make any meaningful impact you know what that's even even for two political power that's just that's just not uh, a, a good investment there prison regime don't think we want to change that 
any of this is really fine, I think, for the moment. Jury trial is kind of nice-ish, but doesn't really change things that much, so I think not. Yeah, I think we are fine in pretty much all of these categories here. Yeah, that's going to be too expensive. So, for just three political power, I can't really see anything that we would want to do. So, you know what? Let's let's go ahead here and, and do it on the state broadcaster. I think that's fine. It's a very minuscule change there, but it's okay. Right, and a couple of things have happened over here. So, some of them good, some of them not so much. GDP, pretty much tanking. And that is because we are now facing a corporate exodus. That's not good. And in fact, it would have gone it would have gone away. Oh, that's 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 not nice. Oh, that's that's too. It's we were just over that for one turn over here. So capitalists hate that there's um there's emigration and GDP is utterly collapsing over here. It's largely driven by our our nonchalant stance against the. A private economy here, which is sort of understandable, but we do need to do something about that. That's not great. Organized crime being going away, that's lovely, but um, a doctor strike certainly is not very welcome. And it's unfortunate that that again was just over the trigger here for one turn and not much more. That's, that's really, really unfortunate. There's not much that you can do against that. Well, I think unemployment might decrease that too, if sufficiently, actually, because unemployment probably is going to skyrocket over here. Yeah, I think actually it was. That's an interesting. That's an interesting development over here because childcare provision did reduce unemployment. I think we got both of these issues. At the very least, we got the doctor strike because unemployment went down, so that went up. So yeah. What can we do about that though? Could we, we could try to increase the state health services, but they are extremely expensive anyway. Trade union percentage is only going to increase that, and labor laws, if we were to increase you, you would drive up the doctor strike. So that's not necessarily great. Yeah, the doctor strike is, is an issue here. I think we do, ultimately, the only way out of this because we can't, for the long term, hope for unemployment to stay high and put pressure on the people to go to work still, otherwise they'll be fired. Yeah, I think the only other way around that is by actually increasing the stealth, state healthcare services sort of to the maximum there. Yeah, we will need to increase that. Private healthcare is pretty much going to go away anyway. Crime is gone, that's lovely. But health is collapsing here due to the doctor strike. I did not need that in sort of an election year here. Unemployment skyrocketing. And there's another situation imminent. A debt crisis. Oh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's going to trigger. That's going to trigger for sure. Well, let's see whether we can get rid of that in due time. And I think our credit rating at some point has been downgraded again. Yeah, our relatively GDP relative GDP is collapsing. Not good not good at all. Motorists and religious people. Why do you hate us? Oh, and actually someone has you've you've left office here. Okay, let's try to hire a new one then. Uh, for taxation. Motorist liberal, I think that's okay. We've got so many capitalists. On the other hand, farmer liberal, I think you are probably the best. Self-employed capitalist, religious patriot, yeah, no, 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 no to capitalists. Let's go for the farmer here. Jesus, things are collapsing very rapidly over here. Okay, we've got 34 political power though. Let's try to deal with these things. Corporate exodus. I think there's pretty much only one way how we can try to deal with that. And I'm hoping that it's available. No, it's not. Capital controls would help out a lot. But it's 50 political power and we cannot hope to achieve 50 political power. Okay, is there anything else that I can do directly to try to tackle the corporate exodus? Stability is coming down, that's not helping. 
Well, I don't really want to cut any of that, so... Yeah, the punitive wealth tax is doing its thing here. I don't want to get rid of that, though. I don't want to do any of that. I would really, really like to do some capital controls. The thing is... This would only fuel corporate exodus, right? Is there anything that we want to do, that we could do actually, to make ourselves a little bit more independent of that? Anything at all that would be in line with what we're trying to achieve. Rural development grants are actually lovely because they increase GDP, quality, poor earnings. Unfortunately, they're driving up car usage, but other than that, they're fine. Technology grants. Yeah, I think basically the only chance that we have to decrease the corporate exodus would be that. How about diverted profit tax? Do we have that somewhere? Fusion, foreign investment? No, that's not it. It should be under tax, I think. Flat income tax? No, no, no. No, no, no. We do need to have some method to... That's just something that we can do to bring down corporate, corporate exodus. Yeah, none of that is directly helping. I thought there was a policy... To prevent diverted profits. Maybe that is going to help. So that at least companies cannot shift profits within their jurisdiction. Quantitative easing. No, no, no. Trade union restrictions. No, it was not any of that. You'd sort of expect it to be under under tax certainly not going to be under transport maybe law and order no not public services don't think there's anything we can do in public services to prevent companies from leaving our our area Diver m m yeah diverted profit tax there we are don't know why i didn't find that earlier it does not actually help. It does help on a couple of things, but not on this. So it only helps on foreign foreign tax evasion. It does make some sense, but I just needed to check. Right, okay, let's let's talk about the good things. So the collapse of the economy means basically respiratory respiratory disease and obesity is gonna go away. That's fine. Doctor Strike might go away on its own, but it will be a problem long term. Corporate exodus, it's such a shame that we got that now. And this is a massive impact on GDP. There's just no way how to, how to roll that back, except for capital controls. We will need to get, try to get over the, over the next election with that, but I think we actually need to introduce some new taxes over here. That's not going to be helpful in this regard, but Still, our deficit here is just way too large. Way too large. We do need a credit upgrade. Our debt interest needs to come down. Otherwise, our debt crisis here is just going to spiral out of control. And I really don't want that. This would depress socialism, so I'm not going to do that. Who would have thought that playing a socialist playthrough would lead to some troubles with the economy? Well, we can't do a lot of things, so yeah, probably just let's think about taxes. Any any specific tax that I would want to introduce that isn't around yet? Well, not anything that is meaningful, at least. Junk food tax certainly isn't. Marriage tax allowance. No, I don't think any of these are super important. There's the squeeze the rich, but I think we've basically got... We could do the luxury tax. It just doesn't even have a potential income. And it's not in, going to increase socialism, so... No, I think this is not the answer for now. 
I think the answer for now is an aggressive increase in in taxation. And pretty much we only have a limited number of taxes over here. What's your effect on GDP? So I think what we need to do is basically max out the effect on GDP. Uh, or basically just stay below the max effect on, on GDP over here. And just accept that some of these things are going to be unhelpful. Now income tax is of course the biggest one that we've got. And we've got a little bit of room to improve that by maybe... Well, I think un until up to the point where it de depresses GDP by no more than 1%. Okay, that's at least $7 billion. So that decreases our deficit a little bit. Let's apply that change. It's nine political power. Let's look at the corporations. Now we've got the corporate exodus. I'm really not sure whether we are we have any chance of, of that collapsing a little bit there. Don't think we do. I don't know why it went down anyway. I don't think there's anything in these terms that just went down. Maybe stability? We've seen a short increase in stability over here. Which leads to more business confidence. Yeah. So if we could increase stability, but stability is such a long-term thing. And, I mean, crime and all of that looks nice. But government debt is going to depress that further. So, honestly, and our reshuffling of new ministers also not going to be helpful with that. So, no. No, I don't. I don't believe that there's much that we can do to get rid of the corporate exodus. So we will need to work our way. We will need to live with that, and we will simply increase taxes um, and hope that it's going to go away at some point. The uncompetitive economy, though, you are relying. You're largely div driven by productivity. Now, if we increase corporate tax, you just increase. So I would like to get rid of you first. So, maybe increase investments into into being more productive. Well, we've got a couple. I mean, we've got a couple of political points here. Let's go to public services, and we are going to try to do some emergency emergency saving of our economy over here. I'm going to implement public libraries. That is not going to be just helpful. It's going to also increase education, which currently sits sort of eh in the middle over here, and that in turn should increase productivity by sort of the most amount that you can. It's actually one of the biggest effects over here that you have. So I think that's going to be alright. Alcohol consumption is just usually just a very bad thing. So how about increasing alcohol tax over here? That's not great for equality, but it would have two nice effects. We would be getting a little bit more money, and we'd drive down alcohol consumption, which would make our economy a little bit more competitive. And the poor would dislike it. Poverty would come up. But you know what? Let's do it. That's fine. Five political power left. I don't think there's anything in terms of emergency measures that we could do. Compulsory foreign language classes are typically useful. Capitalists even like that. Shall we, shall we get everyone to learn Russian? Patriots dislike it. And that's about it. Okay, let's do it. Capitalists like it. That's nice. The young people like it. That's good because that's feeding into him. Tourism is going to go up. Foreign investment is going to go up. All of these things are going to be helpful to save our economy a little bit. But man, oh man. Okay, you are upset. Credit rating is downgraded again. That definitely means we have some issues over here. Hospital overcrowding is starting to become an issue. GDP is at least starting to rebound a little bit over here. A little bit. But it's it's still pretty harsh. Patriots, oof. Just bad events keep on piling up on us. Poverty increasing again. That's due to the alcohol tax. Unemployment still pretty high. So things are not looking great. 
Definitely not great. Doctor Strike is still a big issue. On the other hand, at the very least, respiratory diseases are going to go away. That means productivity is going to increase. That means our uncompetitive economy might go away a little bit. Just a little bit at a time. But some good measures are being done over here. You are upset because the religious are upset. Yeah, I do believe that. And you are... You should actually be doing fine. Trade union is... That's a huge boost. Yeah, we are at least making 18 political power here. So that's fine. So let's try to increase our productivity further. Um, and I think the one thing to do here is going to be tech colleges. 10 political power, it's going to increase technology, education, all of that is going to increase happiness and state employees are happy. Again, it's going to cost us money, but we do need to spend money to make money. We are going to face the debt crisis anyway at this point, I believe. So, yeah, it's just the way it's going to be. A political power, let's save these up for the next time. Respiratory disease has gone away, debt crisis has come back, twice as everyone hates that, GDP is collapsing, middle income is collapsing, self-employed people hate that, business confidence is collapsing, and we are very far away from, from ever getting rid of that. Okay, I think that is something that we will need to live with for a while. And GDP is, yeah, on a very low level over here. And the debt crisis is actually depressing that by another 17.5%. Our economy is in an absolute free fall. We did sort of expect that a little bit. At the very least, obesity is going to go away. Nice. Debt crisis, big issue. Corporate exodus. Is that sort of dynamic? Yeah, it is. So we do actually need to make sure that corporate exodus isn't there too much. But if we can get rid of the uncompetitive economy, at least we're going to gradually hark back some of the GDP. And less GDP, or better GDP, is going to mean just, in general, a better debt position. And at that point, that is going to go away. And everything is going to be fine, but we do need to work on that. So... This is going to be a tough, tough election over here. Popularity is going to tank. Yeah. So we are very far away from the peak value of 94% over here. And actually, I think some of these guys over here might start to look very, very upset. So, yeah, not great. Anyway, uh, we did the tech company, so that's nice. I think I would like to do adult education subsidies. Again, because it's going to increase productivity and education, actually. So... If we can bring our productivity enough, I think we are going to be fine. I think that is going to be the biggest direct impact that we can make over here. Apart from the science funding, which of course we have dialed up already, haven't we? Yeah, and that's going to take a while to become more effective. But at least it's there. So that is nice. We've got 13 political power. We are making 17. It's a bit of an issue. But I think for now that's okay. We could go for other items like... Well, I don't really want to do too much for the economy right now. Uh, for the environment. Because I think the environment is actually doing pretty fine over here. So we don't need to be too concerned about that. Anything else that is influencing this? Well, oil price. Oil price is still a big issue. And the global economy could actually be doing a lot better as well. I think we can claw our way back from here, but it is going to be very, very tough. Our debt is currently CC. That's certainly not investment grade. Yeah, and probably how much are we spending on? 25% of our budget are actually on interest. So we don't even have a primary surplus over here. So even if we take out all of the debt interest, that would certainly not be enough still. State pensions. State healthcare is still a big part of this. But with obesity going away, I think that is going to be nice. The doctor strike. Well, to really tackle that, I think the only way to do that is increasing state health services. So you'd need to come down by around 15%. So that would be... You're currently at 14, so that's sort of 90, minus 20. That would be a pretty big investment. 
Everyone would sort of like that. But we don't really have the money for that. Parents dislike it. Yeah, our popularity is facing some issues here. So you know what? Let's do something very cheap here and just go for, I think it's welfare? No? Public services? Youth club subsidies. Yes! It's gonna be... It's gonna have no impact at all in, in, except for decreasing crime a little bit. But parents are gonna be happy, socialists are gonna be happy, and the young people are gonna be happy. I like it. It's gonna make everyone happy for just a little bit of money and it just might carry us over the election. So it's a very cheap way to do things, but it is there. So I think that's fine. Free parenting classes, typically very loved by parents, but not necessarily a great one over here. Business startup, no, 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 no. Rent controls, that's just gonna cost us money that we really don't have at this moment. So yeah, I think we do really think about, need to think about increasing our income over here. How about this? Capital gains tax. Interesting that that isn't feeding into any of the negative effects over here. You're not bringing us that much money, but if we increase that to, let's say over here, that'd be at least two, two billion per quarter. Equality coming up, socialist, yes, all of that is nice. It's not crucial, socialism coming up, wealthy. Pretty much no effect here on the GDP actually. So you know what, let's do that. It's just a tiny bit of money, but it is gonna be nice to, to have that and be able to work with that. That being said, I think, I do need to put in a cut into this episode. Things aren't looking great, my friends. Our economy is collapsing below us. And this is typically why in all of my other Let's Plays, I try to keep that up um, to the extent possible. And we're going to need to hark that back. I think, I think we're going to get there eventually, but it is going to take quite a bit of an effort here, specifically to hark that back via productivity gains. Um, which just takes some time to, to come into play. You can see industrial automation has a lag of 16 turns. So that's uh, probably going to be for our second term. The next one is going to be focused on winning actually this election and carrying us over to get a solid mandate for the next one. That being said, hope you did enjoy Do Live Like and all of that. And I see you again next time. Bye bye.